most importantly i like its course structure because it offers a uh, masters in industrial engineering with specialization in data science which i am really looking forward to pursue hi sumit welcome to the yocket connect series i would like to begin this interview understanding more about your background so can you please tell me uh, what have you done in your bachelor's then what made you choose uh, to, you know what made you decide that you need to pursue your masters abroad and how has that journey been like so i just want to understand your bachelor's degree and in what year did you decide to pursue your masters from us okay so i completed my bachelor's in mechanical engineering in 2021 uh since then i've been working at tcs uh so to be very honest until my third year of engineering i was not really sure about what courses should i specialize in uh as i got into fourth year that's final year i got introduced to subjects like operation research production planning and uh, control industrial engineering and management so i found these courses very interesting so i thought of why not dive deeper into it so yeah i started exploring what uh, universities offer this courses so that's how it went all right that is very interesting uh, did you have um, any project on the job that made you choose uh, this particular field for masters or you were just uh, anyway inclined to go ahead with industrial engineering in the first place uh well i already had in my mind that i wanted to pursue my masters abroad it was just about the course i was unsure so in my final year when i got a clear idea of the subjects that i love uh, that's when i decided uh, to go for masters in industrial engineering why was us your only option or did you also consider any other options apart from us for this course so it all started from australia new zealand canada and us these were the countries that i researched upon and i found that us is the best option because uh most there are large number of universities in the us which provide masters in industrial engineering and uh, other countries didn't have uh the courses that i wanted to pursue so yeah and i also spoke with my seniors and uh one of my relatives who is in the us so that's how i finalized the states you had mentioned previously that you have got a gpa which is a very good gpa so i would want you to repeat what that gpa is and i also want uh, to uh, you to uh, explain did you maintain it throughout all the semesters or that is something you started working on towards the uh, last semesters of your course how was that like okay so my aggregate gpa is 9.65 out of 10 and throughout the engineering i never uh, slipped below 9 it was like 9 it started from 9.22 9.33 9.6 9.7 9.8 and finally in the last sem i scored 10 so my average went to 9.65 apart from your gpa what according to you could have been the other highlights of your sop that could have grabbed the attention of the universities um i feel strong LORs and SOPs I don't know about LORs but I had good I had maintained good relation with my professors uh, so I think they must have written very strong LORs and for SOP I did uh, some research on the Google and I spoke to my seniors how do I write my uh, statement of purpose so yeah that must be the important factor plus the work experience that I have at PCS before getting to know that you were getting a waiver for gre did you have any plan in place for how to crack gre yeah actually i started started preparing for gre in uh, august and simultaneously i was researching for the universities uh, that's when i got to know that most of the universities are waiving off gre due to covid for fall and spring 2022 intakes so i thought why not uh, give it a chance and see what happens Uh, if i apply without gre and luckily it worked so i want to understand um, how much time did it take for you to draft your sop ideally uh, what would be your suggestion how much time should students spare while drafting a good sop for all the top universities in the us so for me it took me 3 to 4 months uh, because you should not write your sop in a hurry 
you have to like recollect everything that you did throughout your engineering any extracurricular activities any volunteering work and everything counts you just have to sell yourself like so that you stand out in the crowd i would also want to understand apart from texas a&m the university in which you have received your admit from which were the other universities that you were aiming for this course so basically i had applied to 11 universities in the us and i got admit from all of them uh, so i divided my universities into three categories as everybody else does uh, ambitious moderate and safe Uh, my ambitious universities were Texas A&M College Station, uh, Case Western Reserve University, which is in Ohio, uh, and North Carolina State University. Uh, my moderate universities were North uh, Northeastern University, Arizona State University, and there's a long list of safe universities like UTA, Texas Tech, Buffalo, New Haven, uh, Illinois Tech, and Western New England University. So, what was the factor that you were focusing your main attention to? Was it scholarship that was going to affect your decision, or were were the other factors as well? Like, how is the course like, or maybe the weather, or maybe the location of the university in general? So, did you also consider any other uh, factors behind choosing your uh, final university? Primarily, there were three major factors. Uh, first of all, course structure. Second was tuition fee, and third was climate, because. Honestly, I cannot withstand uh, harsh climates like minus one, minus two. I cannot. I just cannot withstand. So, Texas is a good location climate-wise. Also, the ranking of Texas University is pretty good. And most importantly, I liked its course structure because it offers a master's in industrial engineering with specialization in data science, which I am really looking forward to pursue. So, I want to understand what were the course fees for your particular course, and how are you planning to fund it? Okay, so the cost for my whole program is around forty thousand USD, which comes to thirty-two uh, or thirty lakhs. And living expense—if you add the living expense—it would go up to forty-five to fifty lakhs in Indian rupees. So, my parents are going to fund me, plus I would take some partial loan. Of about twenty lakhs, and uh, coming to the part of your courses, you know. So, what kind of subjects would you be having in in industrial engineering? If you would want to give a quick glimpse to the audiences, what kind of subjects can they expect under this course? Okay, so it they offer a lot of specializations. To name a few, I would say data science, manufacturing, and human factors. So you can take. courses from these three specializations and plus uh, three courses from any other specialization out of industrial engineering so it is a pretty much flexible course structure that they are offering i just have last two questions one question is just going back to something that you mentioned earlier that you have got 11 admits from all the 11 universities that you applied to so i want to understand what was the strategy Uh, in your mind, if any, uh, behind b- before applying to all these universities, or even if there was no strategy, you know, what was the thought process? How did you go ahead planning all these eleven admits? Because I'm sure eleven universities means at least uh, seven to eight different SOPs and different essays. So how did you go ahead with all of that, and how did you manage getting an admit from all these eleven universities? Something that I would like you to explain in detail because this is very interesting and could be a Uh, not could be it definitely is a highlight of this entire video so basically it was really a hectic process uh, drafting different different sops for different universities plus asking your professors 11 times to send their lors to different universities but to be honest i enjoyed this process uh, i was not I I didn't decide to apply to these many universities it's just that happened with the flow and yeah it took me around 1 to 2 months to apply to all these universities and I started getting admits uh, in February and I the last admit that I got was in April so that's how the process went
the last thing that i want to ask you is uh, have you done any research around the jobs in the us after this particular course and if you have i would want to understand what pay scales can uh, one expect after completing their graduation and how different it is from what they can expect in india to be honest i am yet to do some research but whatever i have heard from the seniors i think 70000 usd uh, is the starting salary that an industrial engineering uh, graduate gets um yeah that's it i think because i haven't done my research about it like i'm focusing on masters degree first and let's see how it goes or uh, do you think there's something you would want to share that maybe i've not touched upon something interesting that you wanted to share with us um i would say this process is really stressful so just keep uh keep some patience things will happen and yeah that's it stay happy <laughs> guys please like share and subscribe to your cat